hope so you all guys are doing fine in today's video we are going to take a look at curve shader and see how we can implement it in our own games there are a lot of pc and mobile games that are using the same techniques to give much more believable and pleasing effects to their users after watching this video you guys can easily create your own curve shader in universal render pipeline and achieve similar this kind of effect Firstly, we are going to start by creating simple PBR shader graph and naming it accordingly. Firstly, we take position node and set it to absolute world and after that multiply it with the position parameter of the camera node. Now we need to split the results. Now here things get interested. In the split node, as you can see there is R, G, B and K parameters. It can also be used as X, Y, Z and W parameter in Unity. So we are going to take the B parameter of split node and add it with the power of 2. We take 2 vector 1 parameter and name it curve depth and depth divider. I am adding 0 0.03 value to the default parameter of the depth divider because it suits to the scale ratio at my scene. drop both of the vector 1 into the scene and multiply it with each other. We need to negate the results from the multiplication of the both vectors. After that we need to multiply the results with the previous one. Take vector 3 node and insert the result of the previous action into the y parameter of the vector 3 node. Now we need to add our simple position value into our final result. The final step is take transform node and input it through world positions and output it through object position and finally connect it to the vertex position and in the end let's create a simple input texture parameter from the user save the asset and head back into the scene tab in unity Create a simple material and select all of the objects that you want to apply the curve shader to it and assign that particular material to them. And now you can see the final results that our curve shader is working just fine with all the stuff applied to it. Add the compatible texture to the shader and you can tweak your own curve shader according to your specific needs. You can also change the direction of the bend from vertical to horizontal by just changing these parameters. So guys, I hope so you learned some things from this tutorial that will add value into your own projects. If you enjoy this video, please consider like and subscribing and see you in the next one. Later.